Bullet Club takes aim at the elite. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is Just Pro Wrestling News for Thursday, July 29th, 2021. A big welcome to those of you listening on TheWrestlingRevolution.com. You can bring our updates to your website. Email us, desk at JustProWrestlingNews.com. Impact Wrestling. It is Bullet Club versus The Elite on tonight's Impact Wrestling. Jay White, the leader of Bullet Club, tags with Chris Bay to take on one of Bullet Club's founding members, Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows, who both now represent the Elite. Also tonight, a Slammiversary rematch between Moose and Chris Sabin, Rich Swan and Willie Mack versus Violent by Design's Rhino and Diener, an eight-man tag, Ace Austin, Madman Fulton, Rohit Raju, and Shira versus Finjuice, Falaba, and No Way. Plus, Taylor Wilde versus Caleb with a K. Before the impact has Trey Miguel versus Steve Macklin, who is undefeated since he arrived in impact. New Japan Pro Wrestling. New Japan's Hiroshi Tanahashi is coming to the United States. He appeared in a pre-recorded video on last night's AEW Dynamite, issuing a challenge to whoever is holding the IWGP United States Championship that is still Lance Archer, after he pinned Hikuleo last night. New Japan later announced that Archer will defend the title against Tanahashi on U.S. soil at the Resurgence Show in Los Angeles on August 14th. The former IWGP U.S. champion John Moxley delivered a message to Tanahashi on last night's Dynamite. Mox accused the ace of avoiding him for months. Mox is also scheduled to appear at Resurgence. AEW this will definitely not quiet the reports and rumors surrounding CM Punk possibly coming to AEW. Last night's Dynamite was littered with some tantalizing hints. The big one was a live event announcement that Rampage will come to Chicago on Friday, August 20th, and it will emanate from the United Center. It's going to be a special called The First Dance. Then Darby Allen delivered this message after being asked about Rampage in Chicago. You know, I've been around a lot of men in this world that have laid claim to how they're the greatest. And there's only one place to really prove that. Right here in AEW. Even if you think you are the best in the world. That clip from last night's Dynamite. In a Q&A published Wednesday, the New York Post directly asked Tony Khan if AEW has signed and or talked to any former WWE champions. Khan had no comment. Last night's Dynamite opened with the big 10-man elimination tag between the Elite and Hangman Page and Dark Order. This match came down to Hangman in a 3-on-1 disadvantage against Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. Hangman did manage to eliminate Matt Jackson, but the numbers proved to be too much, as Omega eventually pinned Hangman with the one-winged angel. The stipulation for last night's match stated that if Hangman's side lost, he would not get a shot at Omega's AEW Championship. Nick Gage delivered exactly what you'd expect from Nick Gage in last night's main event against Chris Jericho. This match had all the classic gauge weapons from pizza cutters to light tubes to glass. A bloody Jericho pinned Gage after spitting green mist into Gage's face, smacking him in the head with a set of four light tubes, and then hitting the Judas effect. After the match, MJF announced the third labor of Jericho for next week, Chris Jericho versus Juventud Guerrera in a match where Jericho must win with a top rope move. FTR beat Santana and Ortiz in a match where Cash Wheeler apparently suffered a bloody injury to his arm. Christian Cage and Jurassic Express beat Private Party and Angelico. Christian pinned Mark Quinn with a frog splash. After the match, Christian was laid out by the blade. Also, Thunder Rosa pinned Julia Hart with the Fire Thunder Driver. WWE the tens of thousands of fans expected to attend SummerSlam next month could be required to wear masks. Nevada issued an emergency order Wednesday, a response to the CDC's new recommendation that people once again wear masks indoors 
to slow the spread of COVID-19. Nevada's order requires people in 12 counties to wear masks in public indoor spaces, regardless of whether they are vaccinated or not. That includes Las Vegas and Allegiant Stadium, the site for SummerSlam. Natalia tweeted a message on Wednesday thanking fans for their kind words following her apparent injury on Monday's Raw, but she did not share any specifics on the injury itself or its severity. Today's NXT UK is promoting a tag team showdown between Mustache Mountain and Symbiosis. Major League Wrestling's Court Bauer responded to a question about the future of Fusion on YouTube by tweeting, quote, MLW's days on YouTube are coming to an end, end quote. Bauer added that he will share more information soon and tried to reassure fans that it's, quote, good news, end quote. That is just for wrestling news for Thursday, July 29th. Our next update comes your way tomorrow morning. So please rate, review, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.